Hey, so I was uh, trying to get a uh, speed acceleration on my rig because of the fact that uh, rendering with Adobe uh, Media Encoder was extremely slow. I used to have a uh, Asus Rampage 5 Extreme motherboard with a, uh, what was it, i7-593-30K uh, uh, processor, so 3.5 uh, gigahertz with uh, 6 cores. Um, i7-5930K. Uh, the, hand, the rig was equipped with a GTX 980 Ti NVIDIA graphics card and um, so I was looking for an upgrade. So I, I thought I'd buy a i9-9900 um, together with a new Asus board uh, again with um, 64 uh, gigabyte of RAM. In addition, a friend of mine gave me his uh, Titan X graphics card as well as his brand new um, G4, uh, GeForce RTX uh, 2080 Ti so that I was able to test around a little bit with a different graphics card and uh, yeah, in this video I'd like to show you the, the different uh, results. I did very first is um, did a render of one of my videos which I posted on YouTube. Um, the link is down in the description. Uh, so the final video uh, on so I was rendering it very first on my MacBook just to have a let's say a, a, a slow reference. Uh, then I was rendering it with my current rig, so with the um, 5930K uh, i7 processor. Uh, and then I switched the motherboard and I switched the processor and I switched the RAM and stuff like that. And then I tested it very first with the uh, GeForce um, RTX. Uh, 2080 Ti. So let's start first of all with the uh, result of the uh, MacBook and the result of the uh, old processor. So as you can see, the, the processor, first of all, so the MacBook um, in total it took um, 30 minutes to render the video. The um, 5930K took about 11 minutes to render the video. So <clears throat> let's rebuild the whole rig and uh, let's test it again. All right, so that we've re rebuilt now the whole rack, we can uh, actually test it, and uh, here's the result. Wow, that's quite fast. So it was about four and a half uh, minutes. Um, of course, I pushed the computer up to five gigahertz. Um, that's possible with the, with the rig in general. Um, that's what the whole forums were saying. Um, I also pushed it down now a little bit to 4.9 gigahertz just to be safe uh, because Prime 95 gave me <laughs> a tiny crash with uh, 5.1 gigahertz. So I just thought I push it down to um, 4.9 gigahertz. Okay, so let's now switch the um, GeForce RTX 2080 Ti with the Titan X and see the result over there. Okay, so uh, 2080 or oh, the 2080 was exchanged. Titan X is now uh, installed, and uh, so the result of the rendering was again four and a half minutes. So actually, no change in the uh, in the actual uh, graphics card. Let's do the same now with my very old. 980 uh, Ti GeForce graphics card.
First of all, I have to equip again all the uh, um, hoses for the <coughs> for the water cooling, uh, which obviously doesn't heat up the, the GPU at all. Um, but uh, the uh, speed of the uh, of the 980 Ti um, is exactly the same as with the 2080 Ti, and the reason is well, I wasn't, I don't know why, and I still don't know why. Um, the whole processing is being done by the CPU, and more or less none processing is done by the GPU. I was running through gazillions of forum entries in Adobe's uh, forum. I wasn't able to find any result or any any uh, suggestion to change it from CPU to GPU. So that's why I'm sticking heavily with the i9. 9900 CPU, uh, and uh, I'm really glad of this update of the 9900. I hope that you enjoyed that video. And with that, I'm I don't know why I I'm not able to find any let's say good suggestion on how to change from CPU to GPU. I, of course, I'm I'm recording with <clears throat> pretty simple cameras, so I'm either recording with my tiny GoPro or I'm recording with um, with this guy here. Uh, or I'm recording with um, the thing you see me right now with, which is a, a DJI Osmo. Um, of course, all of them have uh, set different frames per second. Um, so I'm also recording with the DJI Mavic 2 drone, um, which is apparently set to uh, 2997 frames per second, while everything else is being set to 25 frame per, frames per second. Uh, and the DJI was set to 4K, while the GoPro generally is being set to uh, full HD. So, uh, of course, th th these frame changes uh, make some uh, load on the on the CPU. I get that. But even if I change the rendering fully to twenty nine nine seven or fully to twenty five, no change. It's just the GPU, which uh, the CPU, which is being uh, used. If you have any suggestion how to change it to the GPU, feel free to reach out to me because I'm sincerely looking for for a suggestion. If then the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti would make a difference to my compared to my 980 Ti, of course I'm certainly open to buy a new one. Um, but right now it's just the CPU, and the CPU, the i9 9900, is perfectly fine. Um, one more, one more thing: um, the installing 64 um, gigabyte of RAM made a huge change for me, especially if I'm working with Adobe After Effects. But that's just a side note here. Okay. See you.